larval forms in protocordates so hello friends today's topic is larval forms in protocordates the larval forms of protocordata are significant in phylogenetic studies of chordata as they exhibit all the essential characters possessed by chordates notochord is solid on joint stiff but flexible rod like structure that is situated on the dorsal side of these animals there are four types of larval forms of protocordata first one is tonaria larva of balanoglossus that is hemichordates then second one is ascidian tadpole larva of eurocordata third one is larval tunicates of lancet that is cephalocordates okay so first one is that is a is tornaria that is larva of balanoglossus so it was first discovered by j muller in in 1805 and was considered by him as a larva of echinoderm echinoderm later in 1869 metchenkov established that it is a larva of balanoglossus and named as tornaria larva because of its habit of rotating in circles structure of tornaria larva a tornaria is a planktonic larva of some species of hemichordata such as acorn worms it is it is very similar in appearance to the bipinaria larva of like starfishes in echinoderm it is an oval shaped transparent larva the diameter of the body is about 3 mm 3 mm it has an apical plate which is a thickened resin provided by a tuft of cilia and a pair of eye spots the larva has complete elementary canal the ciliary band stretches throughout the anterior and posterior region and also the post oral region reproduction sexes are separate gonads occur in longitudinal rows side of the elementary canal gonads develop in silomic wall sperms and ova are produced by the proliferation of cells from germinal epithelium mature sperms and ova are discharged outside through genital pore then the fertilization fertilization is external development development may occur in two ways indirect and direct indirect with larval form called tonaria larva seen in small sized eggs then the direct direct without larva seen in larger larger or large eggs so larval development protocol develops to proboscis silom and proboscis pore collar trunk develops from the evagination of the hind god god differentiation into oesophagus stomach and intestine intestine opens to the outside through anus embryo develops cilia to lead a free swimming larval life ascidian tadpole larva of eurocordata so the next one is ascidian tadpole larva of eurocordata structure 
the assyrian tadpole larva has a short oval body and a long tail the entire body is covered by a thin taste secreted by ectoderm the tail is fringed with a caudal fin formed by the taste at the anterior end of the trunk are their adhesive papillae made up of ectodermal cells the nervous system consists of an enlarged anterior part called sense vesicle or brain which is hollow the brain is continued into a nerve cord which is also hollow the nerve cord continued into the tail and lies mid dorsally the sense vesicles contains pigmented histocyst and two ocelli as sense organs notochord runs to the end of the tail the alimentary canal is complete the pharynx has an endostyle and also some stigmata the atrial cavity is formed around the pharynx and and opens to the exterior through the dorsal atrial aperture the heart and pericardium have been formed development development is retrogressive metamorphosis then the third larval form larval tunicates of lancet that is cephalocaudates structure lancet or amphioxus is a small fish like animals of about 3.5 to 6.0 cm in length the body is slender somewhat transulent laterally compressed and pointed at both ends the pointed anterior end projects in front of as a snout or a rostrum below the rostrum there is an oral hood bearing 20 or more oral cirri or tentacles or tentacles the oral hood enclosed in a cup shaped buccal cavity or vestibule anterior two thirds of the body is roughly triangular and rest of the body are nearly oval shaped mid dorsal caudal fin runs along the whole length of the body ventral fin mid ventrally running from the caudal fin to the atriopore the dorsal and ventral fin is supported by a series of fin rays nerve cord hollow and dorsal gut is ventral pharynx perforated with gill slits gill clefts of an adult opens to the atrium not to the exterior as in most caudates excretory system protonephric sex is separate fertilization external they are suspension feeders recent studies claims that they are sister group of the vertebrates according to the mitochondrial and ribosomal evidence larval development some very significant metamorphic changes are the following in this process ectodermal cilia and claw shaped gland are lost the mouth shifts from left to anteroventral side of the body its margins grow into a form of velum folds of skin form an oral hood and oral cirri inside which a ciliated well organ is formed larva occurs the habit of filter filter feeding the gill slits divide by the appearance of tongue bars and 
more gill slits appear behind the first sets. The development of an atrium causes the reduction of coelomic cavity in the pharyngeal region, in the micelle and in the gonoshell. Gonads develop from the anterior lower angles of myotomes and project into and project into myocilic spaces which are now called gonocils. The tail resin elongates and it assumes a considerable degree of bilateral symmetry to become an adult. Significance The study of the development of branchiostomata that is amphioxus is significant from the following point of view. The study of embryology that is development provides an insight into the evolutionary history of caudates. The position and the way of formation of blastovore in developing embryos divide bilaterally symmetrical animal into two groups. Bia protostomia where blastophore marks the area of mouth and deuterostomia where blastophore marks the anus. The branchiostomata falls in the latter together with other caudates and econodermates. Dermatats, okay. The other formation of coelom in branchiostomata that is amphioxus brings closer to the echinodermata. Based on the fate of blastopore, manner of the mesoderm formation, muscle, muscle chemistry and similarity in sera proteins, it is believed that coelenteris onwards, two stock of in invertebrates evolved. Branchiostomata is supposed to be representative of primitive caudate and links caudates with the invertebrates and shows the evolutionary steps followed by vertebrates.